This question belongs to aptitude subject and was asked in 8 CSC 2015. So the question states, the probabilities that a student passes in mathematics, physics and chemistry are M, P and C respectively. Of these subjects, the student has 75% chance of passing in at least one. So for P, N denotes the number of subjects in which the student pass. So for at least one, the probability is 75% or 0.75. A 50% chance of passing in at least 2. So for P, N greater than equal to 2, the probability is 0.5. And a 40% chance of passing in exactly 2. So for P, N equals to 2, probability is 0.4 or 40%. Following relations are drawn in MPC. P plus M plus C equals to 27 by 10. P plus M plus C equals to 13 by 20. And P into M into C equals to 1 by 10. So we need to tell which all are true. So we just need to find P plus M plus C and P into M into C. Okay. Let us see how we can do this. Okay. So we have been given P, N is greater than equal to 1. So probability for N equals to 0, which means the student passes in no subject, equals to 1 minus probability that it passes in, passes in at least one subject. So probability of passing in no subject, probability of probability of no pass equals to 1 minus p n is greater than equal to 1. So it passes in none of the subject, which means in maths it fails 1 minus m. As it passes in maths with m, so it fails with 1 and minus m. Passes in physics with p, so fails with 1 minus p and it fails in chemistry by 1 minus c equals to 1 minus 0.75. If we expand this, we will get 1 minus P minus M plus MP MP into 1 minus C equals to 0.25. So we have 1 minus P minus M plus MP. Okay. Now again expanding this, we get 1 minus C minus P plus PC minus M plus MC plus MP minus MPC equals to 0.25. Now again, we can try to modify this and get, let me clear all this stuff out so as to manage some space. Yeah. So if we send all of these to the right hand side and 0.25 to the left hand side, we get 0.75 equals to M plus P plus C minus MC minus MP minus PC plus MPC. Okay. Let us assume this is equation 1. Now, we are given probability of exactly 2 passes. It's 0.4. So, 0.4 is exactly 2 passes. So exactly 2 means it passes in maths and physics and fails in chemistry. It means fails in chemistry or it can fail in or fails in maths or fails in physics. Because it, if it passes in exactly 2, it will fail in exactly 1. So 0.4 equals to if it fails in chemistry, then it passes in maths and physics and fails in chemistry, okay. Fails in maths, which means 1 minus m, passes in physics and passes in chemistry. Fails in physics, which means passes in maths, fails in physics and passes in chemistry. So we get 0.4 equals to mp minus mpc plus pc minus mpc plus mc minus mpc. So we get 0.4 equals to MP plus PC plus MC minus 3 MPC. Okay. So MP plus PC plus MC minus 3 MPC. Yes. So this we got as the second equation. Now let us see if we can derive anything else from this. Okay. So we have used this equation and this equation. 
we are left with this equation. Let us see if we can do anything with this. What is the meaning of P n greater than equal to 2? If we say someone passes in more than two subjects, then it can comprise of it can pass in exactly two subjects and it can pass in all the three subjects. Okay. What is the probability of at least two? It's 0.5 given. What is the probability of exactly two? It's 0.4 given. So what is the probability of passing in all the three? It is MPC. So we get MPC equals to 0.5 minus 0.4. It's 0.1. So it is equation three and this is equation two. Now let us solve it further. Okay. So we have got MPC and we needed MPC. So MPC is 0.1 or we can write 1 by 10. So this one is correct. Option 3 is correct. Now let us see what is the value of m plus p plus c. Okay, so let us add equation 1 and 2. So adding 1 and 2 we will get 0.75 plus 0.4 it's 1.35. It's no, wait. Let's see. 0.75 plus 0.4 is 1.15 so we get 1.15 equals to m plus p plus c mc cancels mc mp cancels mp pc cancels pc and we get minus 2 minus 2 mpc and what is the value of mpc it's 0.1 so we get 1.15 equals to m plus p plus c minus 2 into 0.1 which is 0.2 so we get m plus p plus c equals to 1.15 plus 0.2 it's 1.35 and we can write it as 135 by 100 so if we divide it by 5 we will get 20 over here and we will get 5 to the 10 5 we will get 27 over here so m plus p plus c is 27 by 20 so option 1 is also correct so 1 and 3 are uh, correct. So answer is option D. Relations 1 and 3 are true.